Good morning, friends. It is February 1st, and I just had something stirring on my heart that I wanted to share this morning. <clears throat> um, a lot of you know my story and know that I've had a lot of vocal issues um, for years now, and um, I kind of wanted to share a little bit more about the pain behind it because it's a lot, <coughs> it touches a lot closer to home when I'm having days where I'm struggling. And today's been a harder day um, with warming up my voice. And um, this week I've just had, uh, like my voice itself is in health, but there's something called nasal resonance. Um, all of you are like musical buffs might know. <laughs> and when you're singing in pop vocal technique, it's kind of what allows you to sing higher pitches um, with kind of like a soulful sound. And so for whatever reason, I've just been having a lot of issues um, working that into my voice this week and I've been working really, really hard um, doing vocal warm-ups and um, just taking things slowly um, to try to get my voice back in shape. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm also dealing with drainage here, so I'm like talking through it. Um, but I wanted to encourage people, um, whatever, I mean, this is such, something that's so minor compared to um, different struggles that other people are facing. And I want you to know, my joy rests in Him today. Um, I had an amazing night last night of, of sleep. and uh, But it was like sleep and lack of sleep. And it was like this, the Spirit was speaking so um, precisely in my sleep and in my dreams and I woke up at like I think it was 3 15 in the morning just like so filled and overflowing with the power and the presence of the Lord and so that to me is like a marker of there's something incredibly important that God does in us and sometimes it's in the midst of the tension and the struggle um, and it's almost like a call upward of, are we going to continue fixing our eyes on him and declaring his promises and his healing and his resurrection in our lives in the midst of our struggles? And there's so much power in it. Um, and so it's kind of allowed me over time to just find so much more hope and joy in, in the Lord alone and encouragement when I'm going through hard things. And it's still hard. Like, I've still had many tears, and it doesn't take away from the pain. Um, God is a God of empathy as well. And it says that, you know, he, would, he weeps with us when we weep. Like, he knows our every pain, and he's experienced it all. Um, so it's still hard, but it allows us to approach the battle um, with a sense of victory. And so I today just had a completely different perspective about my vocal problems um, rather than bowing to fear because the Lord already prepared his presence last night just kind of saying kind of encouraging me and saying there's purpose in this like there is purpose and there is um, breakthrough in this and I had another experience um, in November when this happened and I was actually on my way to lead worship for a uh, it was a alumni event for my college ministry I was a part of and the whole drive I'm just like desperate for God and I'm praying and um, a five hour long drive just like all right God I don't know what you have but I know that I need your breakthrough in this I need your healing and if it's not my voice that you want to use, that's okay too. And so it's this kind of combination of breakthrough and surrender. Um, it's like de de declaring in faith, but at the same time releasing surrender in our lives so that he can do whatever and we've given him the authority to do whatever he wants. Um, his will on earth as it is in heaven. So what ended up happening was the next day when I was leading worship, my voice was completely restored and completely back to health. And we ended up singing, um, the song, do it again by, um, Elevation Church. And I was so encouraged, um, just that the Lord allowed me to experience 
um, kind of the pain and the struggle of it in order to put like a holy urgency and a mandate for that song to be sung over the lives of those in the, that room. So um, we never, we don't know, we, we see in part, we don't know the whole picture of what God is doing in our lives. But when we choose to fix our eyes on Him and um, to just walk in faith, He shows up and He reveals Himself and He never, um, He never withholds His goodness. He's such a good God. So um, I just want to encourage you wherever you're at today to um, just stir up His Spirit through prayer, through worship, um, through reading, reading of the Word. And start declaring some impossible things over your life in the midst of disappointment, in the midst of pain, in the midst of brokenness, in the midst of sickness, um, to just declare his goodness in the midst and see him break through and see him um, just reveal his presence and his goodness in a mighty way in your life. So. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your presence, God. I thank you that you are Yahweh, God, that you are Lord over all, Lord. Um, I just ask that you would be with my friends today, that you would bless them, that you would um, guide them on your path, everlasting God, and that you would just reveal your perfect love in a mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. And we ask all this in your name. Amen.